Hey everyone, it's Duncan Epping, Yellow Bricks. And just like I showed you last week what in the future potentially vSAN stretch clustering site takeover and site maintenance will look like, I also want to show you today what potentially that multi-virtual center federated storage operations overview will look like. Now this slide already shows more or less what it's going to be looking like in the UI in the future when you go to the VCF operations section. But it's probably more important to show you what it will look like when you start drilling down. Because at first, this VCS, VCF operations section is just a global overview of everything you have in your estate. That could be vSAN, that could be non-vSAN. And it will also show you, for instance, what the potential savings could be if you move your non-vSAN storage over to vSAN storage. Now, of course, on top of that, we will also start allowing you to start drilling down. So if you have, for instance, a vSAN estate, and you have multiple different types of vSAN storage environments, you can now also start drilling down to look at what that looks like. You can imagine that if you have a stretch cluster configuration, and that is something, as I said, I've demoed last week, what some of those new functionalities may look like in the future, that you will also be able to see what that stretch cluster configuration looks like on a map. And I think this is something that is extremely valuable because in the UI that you have available today, the host and VMs overview, you don't visually see what that stretch cluster configuration looks like. It could be that some of the hosts are located in Madrid, some of the hosts are located in Barcelona, but when you look at the UI itself, it just simply looks like a flat environment. It just looks like everything is within that same building. Now, this map overview immediately gives a good idea of what the environment more or less looks like. And of course, the idea here is that if you click on one of those sites, that you can actually start drilling down on what that environment looks like. And of course, also get all the information to understand if your environment is healthy or not. In this particular case, you can see that we've, we are planning on integrating Skyline Health within this overview as well. In this particular environment, you see Madrid and Barcelona, each of those sites having three hosts and 30 VMs, and there's a health score produced as well. There is a slight issue in the environment, but nothing really significant. Now, of course, if something would happen in the environment, and for instance, one of the sites would go down, and as you can see, there's an exclamation mark at Madrid, this could have an immediate impact on the cluster health score. And as you can see, this cluster health score actually went down from 90 to 30. On top of that, of course, it also means that potentially it has an impact on the capacity available for your workloads. And as you can see, those 30 VMs that were running on the Madrid side have now been moved over or restarted by vSphere HA in the Barcelona side on top of that. So all of the information that you need to figure out where your virtual machines are running, what the impact is of a failure, all of that information is going to reside within the VCF operation screens that will now allow you or enable you to be more efficient when it comes to managing the estate. So hopefully with that, I've been able to show you quickly what we have planned for VCF9 and what our vision is with the product. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.